The main idea of the chord progressions in the song, Our God, repeat throughout most of this song. There are a few variations that'll change up every once in a while, how you'll rearrange your hand in some of these chord voicings, and we end up actually with a decent amount of chords to look at. Uh, we're gonna start on the E minor, and since we're in the key of G, uh, we are going to use this uh, first and second string sound that we do a lot of times in the key of G with these shapes, where our fourth finger is on the first string third fret, and then we plant our third finger on the second string third fret, and we really lock those in for a good portion of the song. I'd say about 90% of it, and you really wanna make sure you're planted and keeping those high ringing notes sounding throughout of it. Make sure you got strong fingers to plant on this song. All right, so it's really our top two fingers, one and two, that we're gonna move around a lot. Let's start off with the E minor. To do this, we're gonna take our first finger to the fourth string, second fret. Take your second finger to the fifth string, second fret, and you're gonna play all six strings to give you that E minor. There's your bass note, okay? E minor, there we go. Now, we slide, you can take off that first finger, slide, finger two, up a fret on the same string. So fifth string, third fret, is gonna take the second finger. We're gonna dampen off with the back of finger two, the fourth string. This will give us our C chord, all right? Kind of a driving sound to it. Uh, avoid playing that sixth string if you can. Sometimes I'll loop my thumb over to kind of mute that off. So the E minor, and then slide up to that C, and then we drop this second finger down to the sixth string third fret to give us our G. And same idea, I'm muting off fifth string. There's our G chord. So these are all really close together, E minor, and then the G. Now we change up a bit for the D, but really all we do is take our first finger and put it on the third string, second fret, and we're gonna play the fourth string and up, only to give us our D sound. That right there is a D sus chord. Now, midway through the verses, we're gonna change that up to go from a D sus and resolve it down to a regular D and just take that second finger and it's tough to see, and I'll clear it out a little bit, to put that second finger, first string, second fret. So to move, if I go back to planting for third and fourth fingers, from a D sus, and then I tuck this second finger back in there by removing my pinky, my fourth finger, one note that goes down to a regular D. So D sus, down to a D. There we go. That'll happen in the verse. Right before that, we've got an A minor, okay, A minor. Now to pull this one off, I'll keep at least my fourth finger planted on there, and I'll make that my high note. Take your first finger, second string, first fret, so you reach back a little ways, second finger is gonna go up on the fourth string, second fret. You can play from the A string, the fifth string down. Uh, technically, that's an A minor 7, I believe, and if you can carry that sound, you've still got an anchor with that fourth finger right there. So maybe you're coming from the G, and then reach all the way down to that A minor in the verse, just like that, and you're on your way now to the D sus, and resolve it to the D. Okay? So a little movement that takes place within that. So that takes care of a good number of the chords. Now, if you go back to that G, uh, we want to look at the G over B that takes place as we're getting ready in that bridge uh, to kind of pound out some rhythm stuff. And so that's gonna come after a C, and you're just walking the bass note down. So if you go back to your C chord, and then I use my second finger to plant down a fret below on the same string, so I'll remove my second finger, beyond that fifth string, second fret again. And there's my B out of a G over B chord, okay? So notice I'm not playing the sixth string. I could take my second finger and mute that just as a safety of the sound as I'm doing a lot of strumming through this song. But 
that I've got a G over B happening there. The last chord that we want to look at is a D over F sharp. So if you go down to your D, there's your D sus. Find that D chord shape that we looked at before. There's a few ways people do this. I like to simply take my thumb, reach over the top of the neck, and I'll press down to hit the sixth string second fret. A wide open sound, top to bottom, and that's my F sharp for a D over F sharp chord. So once again, you've got your G, and uh, you've got a C. Walk that down to a G over B, really, really close. Uh, that bass movement, right? And you can do an E minor on your chord. Uh, the A minor, we shift down a little bit towards the higher strings. There we go. And our D sus and our D. And then that D over F sharp. Last one, throw that bass note in, sixth string. And there's the chords that you're going to use for this song, Our God.